hello everyone welcome back to my channel so the first announcement is regarding the 30 days lead code challenge actually initially I told you that I will be creating video on each of the problem but recently I found out that uh, most of the problems are really simple and you can solve them by yourself so I just skipped the solution for those particular problems as of now if anyone wants the solution the video solution then they can comment down below I will surely make videos on those problems as well so moving on the problem which we are going to cover in this video is the last tone weight the problem description is we have a collection of stones each stone has a positive integer weight each turn we choose two heavier stones and smash them together suppose the stone have the weights x and y respectively with x smaller than equals to y then the result of the smash would be if both are equal that is x is equals to y both the stones are totally destroyed if x is not equals to y the stone weight x is totally destroyed and the stone of the weight y uh, it is reduced by x at the end there is at most one stone left return the weight of the stone in case there is no stone left you have to return zero so let us look at the example here is the example so the heaviest stones are 7 and 8 respectively so we pick them up and then try to collide them after the collision the weight of the stone which was initially 8 is now reduced to 1 because 7 got subtracted from this so now the array would contain uh, 2, 4 and triple 1 now the two heaviest stones are 2 and 4 so we collide them and we get the stone 2 as the new stone so the array configuration is 2, triple 1 now the heaviest stones are 2 and 1 after the collision we will get 1 and then we will insert that into the array it will be triple 1 next we take the two heaviest weights these are 1 and 1 so after the collision they totally cancel out each other so 0 is left we don't have to insert 0 then finally only 1 is left in the array then that's the value of the last stone so this is how we have to approach this problem we can uh, try doing this using the vector itself so let's say yeah so initially we have a vector and all the elements are present inside the vector we pick up the two heaviest element let's say uh, these are the elements so we pick up the two heaviest stones from these and try to collide them we will get two as the new stone and then we create another array in which we keep two one and three so this will take big off and again creating the array now instead of doing this what we can do we can think of another approach using the priority queue for those who don't know what a priority queue is I will provide the link in the description to the editorial for priority queue you can learn it from there basically a priority queue is a data structure which returns us the maximum or the minimum element from the collection of the element pre uh, present inside the priority queue so it depends whether it is a min heap priority queue or a max heap priority queue if it is a max heap priority queue max heap it returns us the maximum element from the collection let's say the collection is 9 1 7 and 3 so it will return us 9 if we pop out the element the next element which it will return is 7 again if we pop 7 as well then it will return us 1 and then sorry then it will return us 3 and then 1 so this is how a uh, max heap priority queue works Similarly, a min heap priority queue is just the opposite. So, if the collection is 9, 1, 7, and 3 again, and it is a min heap priority queue this time, then first it will return us 1. So, the top element present in the priority queue would be 1. If we pop out the top element, 1 will be popped out, and the next element which will come to the top is 3. So, next time when we call priority queue.top, it will return us 3. If we pop this also then it will return a 7 and then 9 so this is how a min heap and a max heap priority queue works so in this problem we can use a priority queue 
because each time we want the maximum element or the maximum two elements so let's say we maintain a priority queue and nine seven one three and one now these are the topmost elements of the priority queue so we will remove them and try to collide them after the collision two will be left and we will insert two again in the priority queue the next priority queue configuration would be three two and one now this time we will take out these two elements and then try to collide them we will be left with one and again we will insert one into the priority queue then we will be left with one and one now after the collision of one and one zero will be left so we can simply use a priority queue we can insert all the elements which are present in the priority queue and then try to run a loop till the time the size of the priority queue is greater than one so for the further understanding let us look at the code although i don't think that the code is necessary here it is a very simple approach we are inserting all the elements in the priority queue now till the time the size of the priority queue is greater than one we are going to fetch the uh, the heaviest weight or the topmost element of the priority queue and then pop it out again this is the second heaviest element and then we will again pop this from the priority queue then we will see if both are equal we will con continue we will not insert anything in the priority queue now else we are going to push the difference in the priority queue we will repeat this process till the time the size of the priority queue is greater than 1 now finally there are only two possibilities once this loop get exits so there are only two possibilities either the priority queue is empty or the priority uh, or the priority queue contains only one element so if the priority queue is empty we are going to return zero in that case else we are going to return priority queue dot top so this is it for this problem if you like the video please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe